international art gets a local platform. I'm here at the George Burgess Gallery opening. Let's find out what Chinese art is popping up here in Soho. When you head into Soho, it's sure to be an artful experience. This neighborhood is known for its art galleries and artist lofts, ranging from local to international talent. At the newly opened George Burgess Galleries, George and his team are saying ni hao to their new neighborhood with emerging talent from around the globe. My whole philosophy is to have a gallery that's artist-centered and international. With so many galleries and studios in proximity, seeing and experiencing art is an everyday thing for Burgess. But he wanted to make the experience different for collectors and creatives coming into his gallery. To do this, he had to get a perspective outside of Manhattan. Most gallerists, they find going to uh, Bushwick, getting on the L train, get on Bushwick as their exploratory mission to finding new artists. And I wanted to go to the Bushwick of Beijing, the Bushwick of Shanghai, the Bushwick of Mexico City, to really find artists that are really speak to me and are revolutionizing the art world. A year and a half ago, Burgess visited Shanghai and Beijing in hopes of bringing home a piece of contemporary China. He was introduced to artist Liu Shishi, whose work has been showcased in solo and group exhibitions across China and parts of Europe. While he was excited to highlight the work coming out of the country, he was also looking to break down geographical boundaries. And I was looking for artists to, that really I felt were not very typical Chinese, that were contemporary, that you can look at and say, look, this is a really good modern artist. In fact, a lot of the paintings that he has, most people would never even think he was Chinese, which to me, that's what I loved because it really talked about the human experience. Liu's work was merged with Brooklyn-based artist Michael Haftka for the exhibition The Metaphysics of Seeing. While the artists may be from two different spots on the globe, their work represents the growing relationship between the two countries. They, they have a synergistic relationship and I always thought it was very interesting because one is a uh, Jewish guy from Brooklyn and the other guy is a Chinese guy from Beijing and yet they're, they're, there's music when, it, when you put their paintings together because there's such a, a, a flow with them. And this is only the beginning for the gallery and emerging Chinese artists. I wanted someone that really had their own voice and for the first time I'm starting to see this happening a lot in China. I think I'm seeing a lot of artists that are original and I think it's because the Chinese are really coming, uh, they're getting comfortable in their own skin and it's reflected in their art. And uh, so this is a really exciting time in terms of Chinese art. George plans to open a gallery in Shanghai in the upcoming year and is also considering Beijing. For more info, check out BurgessGallery.com. Reporting for Sign Vision Journal, I'm Christy Clements.